don't quite think you understand just how wet this garage is now. Three takes. Welcome back, I guess. I don't think we've got many orders going out today. Although I do annoyingly have some stuff that I was supposed to send out yesterday with Kieran's order. But I forgot to add it to it. So I've got to send that separately. At my expense. Don't even know where it is. I'll find it in a minute. This place is soaked. Look. Water. This wasn't a one take thing. What am I doing? That was full. I've got a guy coming today at 10 o'clock apparently. I say apparently because he's Facebook Marketplace and we know how those lot are at the minute. Nine o'clock. He's got an hour. We'll see. Speaking of nine o'clock, that was my nine o'clock alarm going off because I wasn't trusting myself to get up in the morning last night. It's very tired, but I was still up at half seven. All right, orders. Orders. Oh, we've got two on eBay that need to go out. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. The sketches that I paid six pounds for three days ago. Sold for £28 plus postage. The average selling price of these was around about 35 to 45 pre-owned. I didn't realise how good they were. Do you hear that? Um, uh, what was I saying? It's 5 95 I paid and they sold for £28 plus postage. Average selling price was £35 to £45 pre-owned. I didn't realise these were an £80 to £90 trainer brand new and they only came out in 2021. Acting like they're something special. <laughs> 2021! But, yeah, the average price was £35 to £45. I listed mine for £29.99, accepting to take offers. And somebody sent me an offer of £28. Sold. I told you on the last video, I would have took 12 on Vintage for these. And box I, I don't even know if that exists anymore. Why is, it, why is the street so active this morning? For £10.80 is this MaxCare Pro Heel Support. So you put your foot in there and it flakes up and creates tension and support for your poorly, poorly ankle. That's it on eBay. Anything on Vinted? Nope. Two sales today, two sales to go out. I need to add Kieran's YSL thing, which is in box M. Just there, that's for you, Kieran. That's obviously supposed to go into your jobbers package yesterday, but I didn't. I've got the Pokemon cards from the giveaway to send out. And I've got the fish thing from Burger King from the giveaway. Polly still hasn't been claimed yet. And what was yesterday's giveaway? Oh yeah, the Barbies. I think we'll draw that one today. What should be the next giveaway? Oh, by the way, Ian did claim his nothing ball and he wants me to give it away on my next Whatnot stream. So that's what I'm going to do. Big up Aboriginal Ian. Such a kind man, wavering his rights to nothing. Today's giveaway is going to be a brand new in the packet Star Wars Stormtrooper. We'll get more to that later. Entry details later. So some of you may have seen that eBay are looking at doing their own postage option the same way that vinted and whatnot do where the buyer pays for the postage through ebay and it's all dealt with there i'm wondering how you're all feeling about that i've got mixed emotions and i'll tell you what they are <sighs> let's just make a space let's sit down for once while i do this because most of this can be packed while i'm sat down when a company like whatnot or vinted are the ones who take care of the postage and don't give you i mean you do have an option to opt out and do your own but if you choose their platform postage then they are the ones in the contract with the courier company meaning if things get lost or damaged they are the ones that have to go through all of the bullshit doing all the claim and whatever else trying to get their money back you're fine because you're not the one in contract with them vinted has chose that company and chose that service or whatnot so therefore, you can sit back and let them do all the chasing. And when you think about it, Vinted and whatnot, who both have that same model when it comes to postage, probably Etsy and stuff as well. I've never had a sale on Etsy, I don't think. And Vestier, maybe they do as well, but it's quite common is what I'm saying. eBay don't do that yet. 
go on about doing it and bringing it in. What does that mean for eBay sellers? Well, it potentially means that we're going to eliminate a lot of that free postage versus paid postage competition because if eBay are going to be forcing that upon everybody, I'm guessing there'll be an opt-out option. But why would you opt out of letting another letting eBay deal with all the hassle if anything gets missing or gets broken? Gets missing? Oh, child. So I like the idea of it, as long as you can still use every, because Whatnot are now moving away from every, Whatnot are now got a contract with Royal Mail. So they're not doing every anymore. So as long as eBay don't go down that road, because I like every, I don't care what anybody says, I think they're fantastic. Yeah, just wondering what your thoughts are on that, on eBay taking over the ownership of the postage situation. Because a lot of people probably didn't even realise that if a company like that, if you buy the postage and select your courier, blah, 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 pay for it you're the one in the contract you're the one that has to deal with all that if ebay what not vintage for example get the buyer to pay that company the postage money and then they select and choose a postage company and service and option then it's down to them if anything happens i, I like that so uh yeah just wondered how you feel about it really well i want to try and lose some of these i still haven't had one of the shoe tree and ruler bundles Hasn't been claimed yet, so I might rerun that another day. Oops. I've got a PS2 and a DS down here. Soaked. Drenched. I don't know why I do it. It wasn't even that funny. Do they fit straight in there? Nah. Of course not. They should fit in here though. Although I think I've got the smaller one by mistake. Bubble wrap and bag. I see people sending out shoes just in a bag without bubble wrapping or boxing or anything all the time. And most of the time they get there safe, but I'm still not a big fan of it. I'd be livid if a trainer's just turned up in a plastic bag. They get knocked, they get marked, they get damaged, they get scuffed. Just a little bit of bubble wrap is all it takes if you can't find a box. Or wrap them in paper, whatever. Just protect them. They still need cushioning. If you get your trainers and throw them out of a car and let them bounce around the road a little bit, they're going to be all right, but they're going to be scuffed up and marked. Just me being Daddy Rick. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Mom, <laughs> Link is in the description down below. This one will most likely fit into a small box, maybe. Box might be too small. Beautiful. That's the max heel thing. Easy postage day today, which means once this geezer's here at 10, whether he buys the car or not, big photo day. It's Friday today, which means Emma's off work. All that means is I don't have to rush back for Ada at 2 o'clock or anything. I can just crack on. And if geezer don't turn up at 10, which is in... 45 minutes I've told him I'm just gonna move on I probably won't move on to we're selling the car today I've had enough yesterday was a nightmare I've actually taken the listing down and relisted it people being morons thing is at 500 quid that Vectra 85,000 miles is a very flippable car so I'm getting all the flippers just pay the money in it well I need to find the details for this oh, actually, I think it's on here who won the Pokemon cards uh, Back in a minute. So it was Stefan with the Pokemon cards. Big up your boy Stefan. Nice. And the Burger King thing was sent via email. So don't forget, guys and girls, if you haven't got Instagram, you can always contact me on my email address. It's in all in the links in the description below. Everything's there. Instagram, TikTok, email. BK Fish, David. Thank you, David. Pop that there. David Steele. Copy and paste that because I'm lazy. Print. Lovely. I don't have much to report on at the moment, so I guess we just wait until this chap turns up for the car, if he does. That's the giveaways packed and posted. Make sure you don't miss out on your chance to win something free. Stormtrooper in this video. Just had a lovely offer come through that I think we should both look at together. 175 pounds for 35 of them. I think we know the offer there. Five pound each. We'll take it. 
I'll make that 10 past 10 nearly. Nah, bro, you're late. I've just had a package arrive and I know exactly who it's from. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Project Games. I know it's you. Well, it's another day and another Project Games gift by the look of it. An orange jelly bean. He told me there was a funny note, but that's it's not in there. I think you've been mugged off, Matt. But we'll get that hung up. Those things fell off yesterday. Keep falling off. Matt, I love you, mate. I do love you. I appreciate you. Yeah, no, there's no note on there. Now, I might sound really tight, but you don't get 20 minutes of no communication from me when you're supposed to be there at a certain time. So you're done. So instead, let's draw yesterday's giveaway. Right. When it works, it works well. But if it doesn't work... It doesn't work well. Keyword filter. We're going to go with doll because a lot of people said if you was a doll, if I was a doll, it just gets a bit confusing. So we'll just do doll. 53 comments. 53. And the winner for the Barbie selection, the McDonald's vintage Barbie toys, is Alan Duncan. If I was a doll, I would be a fat one. I've got nothing else to say. Alan, all contact details are in the description down below. Instagram, TikTok, email, all of it. Drop me a message down there and we'll get this out to you. Congratulations to Alan. And if you want to have a chance to win something on this episode, today's prize is going to be a sealed in-bag Stormtrooper Lego minifigure. And in honour of Star Wars, I know it's Darth Vader, but he's up there somewhere. Your entry comment is going to be, Ricky, I am your... And that bit's down to you. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really do appreciate it. These giveaways are an opportunity for me to try and give something back, even if it's just a little bit for you watching the videos. Please do like the video on the way out and check to see if you are subscribed and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. There's a delivery just turned up and I feel a little bit awkward.